Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So to, oh, excuse me, so today, get all choked up and I just started. So today I thought I would come on and do a quick Hobby Lobby haul. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to be spending, I'm supposed to be shopping my stash, but in my defense guys, I am fixing to have a major surgery, which is going to require, yes, I'm using that card. I'm using the I'm having surgery card um, with a six-week re recovery. So I had to go this morning and sign, you know, some of the scary, scary, scary um, pre-operation paperwork. So that was fun. Not really. And um, then I had to run by my primary care and get my B12. So hopefully I'll get some energy. Um, uh, yes, guys, I'm in the middle of, uh, I've had a really rough two days and I really don't want this to be a negative video and all about my pain and all of that stuff. But yesterday I was off. Um, I am filming, let's see, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. Today's Thursday. Um, I'm filming on Thursday. I had those two appointments this morning and yesterday, guys, I literally went from the couch to the bed all day. I had a really, really rough, rough day. Um, with um, lower abdominal pain. Um, so I got up this morning at first feeling a lot better. Um, and then the upper abdomen pain started hitting me. And they are like quick burst of really, really sharp pains that will bring you to your knees. They only last like a couple of seconds and they're gone. But, you know, by the time it takes your breath away, it's gone. But then you have to try to recover from that. So, um, I am going through that. So, if I get quiet through this video, it's because I've had one, <laughs> one of those pains. Um, yeah, so I just had to take a minute. Um, I did lay down earlier. It is about, I have no idea what time it is. But anyway, it's about something o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Probably around between 2 and 3, I guess. 3 and 4, who knows. Um... So, yeah, so when I left the doctor's office this morning, I ran by Hobby Lobby with the purpose of getting one item or a couple of one item um, because I had looked online beforehand and they had it at 40% off, and I'll let you see that when we get to it. Um, but then I came across some other things. I know, shame on me. Um, so I came across this fabric here, guys, and as you can see, I have, hopefully you can see that, it's $3 a yard. Isn't this beautiful? It is, I hope you guys can see that. It is like, I don't know if you could tell, but it's a really, really pretty green color. And I have never been partial to green. Um, but it just seems like something's happened to me here lately, and I'm loving green. Emerald is my birthstone. I've always hated it. But yeah, for some reason, I'm getting into loving the green. And this right here looks to me, you know what I thought of when I first saw this, was the mark making by Rachel at Roxy Creation. And I'm like, I gotta have it. So I can use these in my journal. I really want to start doing some mixed media art uh, canvases and different stuff. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But um, yeah, this was marked down to $3 a yard. So I told her I wanted two yards, but then there was just a little smidgen left. And I told her I'd go ahead and take it. So they didn't have to put that little remnant or smidgen back on wherever it is they put it. So anyway, I got that one. Um, and then they also had a huge giant... Um, thing of this blue ticking that was also marked down to $3 a yard. Um, so I just grabbed myself two yards of that like I need more blue ticking, like I need a hole in the head because I have quite a bit of this and I even have um, a little bit of antique of this. But at any rate, I picked that up. Um, and then, okay, let's just show you the odd and end things I guess first. It may all be odd and end things. And then I found these guys. These are fancy windows, and I'd never heard of this company, but it's Mayberry Street Miniatures. Um, and it was over there where you can make and then decorate your own dollhouse. Um, but I thought these, being said I want to get into some uh, grungy Tim Holtz mixed media stuff. And yeah, we'll talk about that shopping spree I had for myself later. No judgment, guys. I am... Uh, yeah, stressing, <laughs> Lord, am I stressing about this upcoming surgery, so, yeah, I went on a couple of shopping sprees, and that will be in a separate video, um, yeah, but anyway, I thought these little windows, fancy windows is what they call it, it's three of them, for 99 cents, I thought that was a really good deal, uh, because I could do some mixed media stuff with that, so I thought those were really cool, so that's gonna go with my mixed media stuff, and yes, I have cleaned off 
one of my rolly carts, and it is de designated to mixed media, along with two drawers and my antique dresser that I cleaned out of other junk, because I have been able to manage to get a few things done here and there. And again, with watercolor, this price at Hobby Lobby is actually cheaper than anywhere I saw it online. The uh, Tim Holtz uh, Distress Watercolor Cardstock. Uh, you get 20 pieces for $5.49. It was not on sale. Guys, it's been forever since... So I got two packs, so that's 40 It's been forever since my local Hobby Lobby has had Tim Holtz on sale at all. Um, I'm thinking perhaps they were looking out for me. They just didn't know it. Okay. So now we will get on to these. Now, this is some jewelry that I got. And this is Studio His and Hers. And guys, they had um, the, anything that's Studio His and Hers... Uh, and I'm going to have to pause you guys because I got some other things. I forgot to grab them off the kitchen counter table, something. They're somewhere in another room. But hopefully I could pause you guys without messing up the video and show you those. But Studio His and Hers, 40% off. So these were $2.99, so I got them 40% off of that. And boy, aren't they blingy. I want to make sure you guys can see that good. Look at those. So I apologize if my voice is too loud, guys. I know I talk loud because I have... Um, just about total hearing loss. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. In my right ear and partial in my left ear. So it causes me to talk really, really loud because I can't hear myself. So I think no one else can hear me. It's the best way I can describe it. Um, oops, sorry. I jiggled you there. These are little hearts. They do have the loops. Um, so I got two packs of those. Uh, but yeah, I talk really, really loudly and that was due to, um, Childhood abuse it was diagnosed at age six. There we go. So I got those. Really, really love those. Um, so that's going to go. Actually, guys, I got a lot of my... Um, what I've decided to do is take all of my laces and blingy, the majority anyway, of my blingy stuff and put it in my sewing studio and leaving the rest of the stuff in here. I can, since I'm filming with my arm now, uh, with my, well, I do have a new arm, but with my phone now, I think I'm undecided if I'm going to stay filming with my camera or go back to my webcam or using my phone. But anyway, um, it would be really easy to take it in there and set it up. So maybe, perhaps when I'm doing blingy stuff, I will actually do it from in there when I need my laces so I don't have to pick through it and haul it in here. So that's certainly an option for me. So I got those. And then this little bundle, guys, here was $3.99, but this is 12 of these um, beautiful gold leaves. Look at how pretty. So when I first saw these, I thought about mixed media. Uh, I have been watching a lot of Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. She's amazing. And then, guys, I found these. Look at these. I have no idea what these are. But aren't they the cutest? And his and hers, if you're not familiar, is uh, the wedding stuff. But these were $1.29 each, and I got them for 40% off. But look at those. Let me stand up and see what I'm doing. But I thought these would be really pretty. Now, let me tell you what I thought. Okay, so I got four of the pinkish-looking color. Really light pink. And then this slightly tannish-looking color. I hope you guys can see that. And then, like an off-white. It's not a white-white. It looks more like a cream or a... Yeah, an off-white color. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I was thinking about these. Now, I have found a new channel, and her name is Karen, and it is Grace B. Creations. So, if I don't forget, I will link her in the description box below. But she, I had caught one of her first videos. I've only been watching her for a few weeks now. I absolutely love her. I was like binge-watching her today because I got a little bit behind. So, I think today I watched her Monday video the one she posted last night and then the one she posted today. You guys go check those out. Um, but she uses uh, like real real dried flowers. I think she said she got it at Michael's. Um, I haven't been by Michael's. However, I am thinking about going by there and seeing if I can um, uh, score some of those dried flowers like she has. But the way she used those dried flowers, I was thinking about using these. So you will probably see these in a... Um, video. Not sure if it's upcoming or what. Not sure what all I'm going to do for 
while I am recovering. Um, but yeah, so I got those and thought I would use them similar to the way that she's using her flowers. So you guys definitely go over there and check her out. She is amazing. And guys, how exciting. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? She is from Georgia. And she is actually not that far from me. So I thought that was really exciting. Okay, so all that stuff was 40% off, guys. Okay, I'll go to this, which is what I went in there for. And it is just some uh, mixed media paper. Um, I wanted to get some. And this was 40% off as well. So that's why I went in there. I did not pay that for that. And this is Master's Touch. So there are 60 sheets in each one. And these are 7 inches by 10 inches. So it would be perfect to cut down for tags or, you know, whatever you want. Because um, I want to start doing some stuff with my Distress Sprays I never used that I've had forever. And, yeah, you know, I bought all this stuff and I never use it. So I'm wanting to use it um, on these. And then I got these small packs. I did get four. But they were $3.99. Again, 40% off. And these are 4 by 6 sheets. Um, and they, they tear out. So they're perforated there. And they just tear out. So I thought those would be fun. So that's what I actually went in there for. And then I ended up, you know, coming out with a lot more stuff. And then the last thing is this stuff here. I have absolutely no idea what it is. It just says floral ribbon garland. Um, go ahead and stand up. But I thought that would be neat in junk journals as well as um, in my mixed media. It's pretty cool. Where are you at? There you are. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, guys, it wasn't on sale. I did pay that for it. I know. I thought twice, and I rode around in it with it in my buggy, and I kept thinking and thinking and thinking, and because you know me, I don't like to pay full price for anything. Uh, but today, you know, I did pay full price for that, and I paid full price for these three. So that is what I ended up paying full price for today. But um, yeah, so there's that. And while we're here, since it's not a very big haul. Um, I did place an order with Veronica, and I wanted to, and this is Triple V Vintage, show you guys these, so she made me this little flippy pad, um, and I got these fibers from her, there's like different colors, let's open them, because they literally just came in, and I didn't do anything but open it, take it out of the package, but these are like fiber sheets, look at how cool that is. So that, I think, is the gold. And then this looks like rose gold to me. Uh, and then we have the green. Isn't that super cool? Look at that. And then it looks like silver. Oh, and then a black or gray. That looks gray. Um, but I did get two packs of those. Because, I mean, while you're paying for shipping, why not, right? Um... So let's get this back in here. So this will probably go over with my mixed media stuff. I am really trying hard to. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Those are very painful. Oh, my word. Okay. Yep, I'm good. It's going to be all right. Um, so this is uh, Ode to Timmy. Um, and Gail had actually showed these. And I'm like, ugh. How ironic. Uh, I think it was in her last um, Etsy shop share. Uh, because I have gotten all of my um, grungy and Tim Holt stuff and all of that stuff out here um, ready. Um, because I really got away from my grunge that I love so much. And I'm going to get back to it. And like I said, I want to start with Heavens. Um, some mixed media type stuff. But yeah, I thought these were fabulous. So, I did get two packs of these. And guys, I wanted to make sure that I had the stuff here and around me and easy to find. Um, because during my recovery, I hope to craft... Um, and get some videos out, especially since I can do it sitting down. Um, there's nothing heavy in here that I would have to lift, but I can't do any reaching either. Um, so I pretty much need everything at, you know, a waist to neck level, if you will. 
um, because I can't do any reaching, any bending, anything like that. So, um, I am trying to get everything just so, and to making sure, you know, I'm going through a surgery. It's not going to be an easy recovery. Um, I actually made the mis this mistake this morning, guys. Uh, there's YouTube videos out there where you could actually watch surgical procedures. So this morning, yes, I made the mistake of um, watching some of those videos. I'm going to sit this behind me, guys. My husband has me an extra table in here in the middle of the floor. Um, it seems a little weird. It doesn't really make it cramped because in the middle of my floor in my craft room was wide open spaces. So... Um, but yeah, so this morning I made the mistake of, oh, I'm going to put this out for you to look at because I love it, uh, made the mistake of watching those YouTube videos, and then I made an even bigger mistake, I believe, of researching uh, people's uh, journey uh, before um, their surgery, who's having the same surgery that I'm having. Um, the before and what they're doing to get ready for it, their surgery day, their after surgery, and their six-week recovery. Um, I think that was a mistake, too, because it's not going to be easy, guys. It's certainly not going to be as easy as I thought. Okay, hold on. Just another quick pain. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay. Um, it is not going to be <laughs> uh, as easy as I thought. So, this morning, I actually had an appointment. And I know I'm babbling, but um, I just want to keep you guys informed. I did have... Ouchie. I just poked myself with that needle. Take it out, Lori. Um, yeah, I had an appointment um, to sign some paperwork. My appointment was at 8, so I'm there at like 7.45. Um, yeah, they opened the door about 10 till, so I go in. I'm the first one in and put my name down, and she's like, oh, you're here to sign um, pre-op paperwork. And I'm like, yes, ma'am. She's like, well, I don't know why they scheduled you for that at 8 o'clock because she never gets here before like 8.30. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, then, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not in the mood. By that point, I was hurting. I just sat down, and I had to end up getting a, getting up and getting one of their tissues because I sat there and just sobbed the whole time. Went back for my appointment, and then I was sobbing. And then I was left that appointment and had to go get my B12. It's only like literally two driveways down because it's a big medical complex um, from my regular primary care f physician where I had to get my B12. And I like cry that little drive. You know, and then I get in there and I'm in tears. And she's like, oh, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, yeah, very emotional. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Um, if it's just, you know, watching those videos and then following and watching a few people's story, it is definitely not going to be as easy as I thought or as I'd hoped. Um, so, I'm honestly, I say all that babbling just to say I'm not sure now how quickly I will get back into my craft room. Uh, I am taking extra days off of work. Um, let's see, this will post tomorrow. So today is Friday, so it'll post Friday. I am working Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm done. I'm off until I go back after my surgery, which will be, the tentative date is like July 24th. Um, so I have about a week and a half uh, before my surgery. So I've got to get, you know, a lot of things done. My pre-op is next Thursday at 3 p.m., at the hospital, so I have that. Do have to go and have a mammogram, so they're going to call me with that appointment. It's just a lot, guys. Um, and I not only have one issue going on that I have to have the surgery, I also have a separate issue going on um, with gastric problems, so I have to see one of those doctors as well. So it may be a while before this is all over, but all of that rambling to say, I have plenty of time to do videos. Um, I love doing videos for you guys and spending time with you guys. It's like, it's seriously the f my favorite part of the day, guys. Um, and I'm so thankful that you're all here and supporting me and praying for me. I really do appreciate that. So I'm going to stop babbling now. So uh, that is my Hobby Lobby haul and my uh, one Etsy shop share. And I will make sure to put Veronica's link in my description box below. Oh, I didn't go grab the other things, did I? Guys, we'll do it in a separate video.
I don't feel like pausing and running. But I do love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.